Today's topic is Intermittent Explosive Disorder – Causes, Symptoms, Diagnosis, and Treatment. Intermittent Explosive Disorder, IED, is a condition characterized by frequent sudden outbursts of aggression, rage, or violence. The reactions are unusual and unexpected. They are not all appropriate to the situation at hand. While losing your temper now and then is normal, IED causes regular outbursts that occur without any identifiable trigger. People with IEDs may destroy property, throw tantrums, or assault someone physically or verbally. The condition can further result in other mental health disorders, such as depression, anxiety, and ADHD. Let's look at the condition in detail. Causes The exact cause behind IED is not currently known. However, experts believe it to be a result of genetic or environmental factors. Brain chemistry supposedly plays a major role, as IED is more common in people with greater tendency to be aggressive or impulsive. Such behavior is often influenced by low serotonin production in the brain. Risk factors for developing IED include 1. Being male 2. Being below the age of 40 3. Having experienced trauma multiple times as a child 4. Growing up in a mentally or physically abusive environment 5. Having a mental illness that may result in impulsiveness, such as ADHD, borderline personality disorder, and antisocial personality disorder. Symptoms IED episodes can take on various forms, such as 1. Intense arguments with close ones or strangers 2. Yelling and shouting 3. Road rage 4. Threatening people 5. Rampages 6. Temper tantrums 7. Damaging property 8. Punching walls 9. Fights and brawls 10. Breaking plates 11. Domestic violence 12. Physical assault Such episodes occur without warning. People might feel rage, loss of control, and anger before or during an episode. The episodes typically occur alongside other physical symptoms, such as 1. Tremors 2. Adrenaline rush 3. Tingling 4. Chest tightness 5. Headache 6. Muscle tension Diagnosis Like other rare and specified mental illnesses, IED is diagnosed according to criteria in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, DSM-5. The criteria help differentiated between more frequent verbal aggression that is not accompanied by physical assault or damage and less frequent physical aggression that causes harm to both people and property. The latter traits are usually found in this condition. Treatment There are multiple options for IED treatment, with a plan typically involving two of them at the same time. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a reliable and effective option as it helps you understand the condition and how to deal with it better. Medication such as antipsychotic and anti-anxiety drugs, antidepressants, and mood stabilizers are also prescribed to help keep symptoms under control. Finally, lifestyle changes such as improved diet and greater exercise are recommended to help keep your mood positive and body healthy. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.